hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adesua welcome if this is your first time and if it's not today i'll be teaching you how to attach the barrel hook or the barrel clasps to your line to your bracelet necklace whatever you want to make and i'll be teaching you how to make it firm in my previous video i taught you how to use normal oak but today i'll be teaching you how to use the barrel oak which i call the screw oak because when you are locking it, it's just as if you are screwing something and if it's something you'll be interested in stay to the end of this video this is how the barrel oak looks like i made this anklet you see how firm it is that's how all the jewelry i make is so firm even if it's not your size and it pulls the my jewelry never spill I, and if you don't know i have a jewelry store called suazaya up on instagram i make waist bead anklet bracelet wedding accessories also so you can go there and shop from me so bracelet i'm wearing now i made it myself my jewelry hardly spill so i'll be teaching you how to make something firm like this if something you want to watch this to the end of this video you see this bunch of anklets they are made with screw hook and they are available in the store just send a message to beads by so as i up on instagram to get yours so when making an anklet or bracelet or anything with screw hook, i prefer using fishing line because it's easier it's faster so the first thing you need to do is unscrew your screw hook when you want to make something so you have to open it unlike the other type of clubs that you leave it the way it is this one you have to open it that would be the best way to make a bracelet with this type of hook so after opening it the next thing you do is pass your fishing line through the back so the fishing line will come out at the front so um i like using stopper whenever i am using um the screw clubs because it's easier for me other people like the tying method but for me i prefer using stopper so the first thing i do is pick my screw hook pass it through the back as you can see or front anyhow but you know that the front is passing out is facing outside and one other thing is this screw hook is a kind of is a complicated clasp because sometimes when you buy the hook it opens then when you screw it again it does not lock so you make sure you you test it do you understand make sure it screws back then you can confirm that oh this one is good so when you put the stopper you press you press it very hard because if you don't the fishing line might be too tiny that even after pressing it it can go through the stopper do you understand so you press hard like in my own case this time i did not press so hard even if i thought i did but i had to test it so when you want to test it is you draw you see what i'm doing you draw it to the end and you you can see that the stopper is moving once you feel the stopper is moving that means it's not firm enough so you take your round nose plier again and press it hard make sure it's firm it don't move it don't move do you understand make sure it's firm confirm if it's moving or not and make sure it doesn't move so after you've confirmed it's firm then you can put your beads in it so just start filling it up with your beads if you're making a waist bead you know you are going to you know measure your waist so you know how long it should be if you're making it depends on the size of the jewelry you are making so just fill it up till you are contented after filling it up you will pick the other parts of the screw hook then I'm so sorry, the part where I was filling it and putting the other part of the hook did not show in this video because it was not easy filming this video. I think this is the second time um, making this type of video. So just bear with me. So let's just imagine we fill it up and we're putting the other part of the hook. 
after putting it the same way you put in the first one make sure the screw hook is facing outside because it has to join to hook do you understand so you see they are facing both sides the front is facing both sides so once you cut this rope you bring them together to screw so after that you put in your stopper again this why i love this method than time method is because so when you put in your your stopper you draw this part of the hook you draw it to the extreme make it very tight then you press one part of your round nose will be inside the other part will be outside so you press it firmly and confirm if the stopper in it is not moving this method nobody taught me just my experience i found out that this is better sometimes i even put tiny beads in it so that it doesn't pull so when you confirm that it's firm enough then you bend it you see what i was talking about now it's a screw so these two screws have to face both sides like this you see because they face both sides that's why they can unscrew and screw we've come to the end of the video thank you for staying to the end of this video if this video was helpful be sure to subscribe like comment share this video turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first person to watch my video when my video comes up patronize my store thank you for staying to the end of this video